In today's Black Friday and Holiday Gift Guide 2018, we're gonna take a look at home automation done easy, thanks to our friends over at Belkin and Wemo. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here, and like I mentioned before, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple different devices that you guys can use to very cost-effectively get your feet wet within the world of home automation. What I'm going to do is set these aside, go through them one by one, go over the features, the benefits, and if I'm currently using it in my everyday life, which for the majority of these I am, I'll let you guys know my use case, Finally, keep an eye in the description below. I will have purchase links for all of these guys, and especially around Black Friday and the holiday season, make sure that you click on those often because there will be sales and that is the best way to keep up to date with all of the current pricing and availability. All right, so product number one is actually probably the most cost effective of the bunch as well. This guy here is called the Wemo Mini. And simply put, this is just a 110 volt pass-through smart adapter. There's tons of these on the market, but I really, really like this one compared to some of the off-brands or even some of the branded ones that I've used in the past. Installation is exceptionally easy. Simply plug it into an existing 110 outlet. You have the opportunity to utilize the pass-through here plug in whatever device you want to have smart controlled, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can set this up using the Wemo application. Very, very straightforward, and you can have a ton of these set up. And if you're not familiar with the Wemo app, or maybe you don't want to use that one, you can actually integrate this within any other IFTT software, IFTTT. There's too many acronyms for things now. Um, but I'm personally using this with my Google Assistant. Now, I would love to unbox this, but currently it's actually installed in my daughter's room and she's sleeping, so I don't want to go in and get it. But the reason why I'm using this in there is in, in my home, I don't have any ceiling lights upstairs outside of the kitchen and the living room. So I use this to actually power two lamps within my daughter's room. It's very easy when I'm carrying her maybe out of the tub or into bed to use my Google Assistant on either my phone or locally with one of the five Google Homes that I have kind of all peppered around my house to let the Google Home know that I want the baby's room turned on. Now, she usually sleeps with the lights on, so come around 12, 1 a.m. if I'm still up and I notice that I forgot to turn the lights off, I also don't have to worry about going in and waking her up. I can simply, again, use the application or use my assistant to turn those lights off to make sure that she gets a restful sleep, as well as I'm not just wasting power all night long. Now, again, purchase links will be available within the description for this guy here, and Trust me, this thing has saved my life and changed my life with the way that I'm using lighting. And the possibilities are endless as far as what you want controlled with this guy here. It also has a power button on the left-hand side if by chance you don't want to use any sort of voice activation or application, it's still fully able to be used manually. So again, Wemo Mini, exceptional device. Let's move on to the second one. All right, so the second device is a little bit similar and a little bit different, and it's actually this guy right here. So this is the Wemo Insight Switch. Now, this one I'm not currently using, so let's go ahead and open it up. I first have to grab a knife, so jump. All right, there we go. So it took me a little bit of time, but I got all of the tape off of it. So now we can take a look. I mean, the boxing, it's pretty straightforward. There's just gonna be a little tongue right here lift this off and if we open this up the Wemo packaging is always really great too I always really enjoy it so really all right so here's the switch here I got as much of that stuff off as I possibly could uh, but right away we can see that the footprint for this one is actually a lot smaller the other Wemo mini plug although it's named mini is actually quite a bit wider this one is a little bit bigger, of course, than a standard outlet, but there's going to be enough room underneath and they gave it a flat bottom base to ensure that if you have stacked 110 outlets, you're still going to be able to access the bottom outlet. Now, what makes this one a little bit different than the Wemo Mini Plug is actually a couple of different things. So the key wording within this plug right off the bat is Insight Plug. So whatever you have plugged into this plug, you can utilize the Wemo Insight app, or I guess just the Wemo app itself, 
to take a look at things like usage history and power draw and really try to optimize your energy efficiency as far as what's drawing power that's plugged into this guy here. If there's a time of day where you don't want any power draw to happen, simply use the application, turn off the plug, and it's really gonna save you a lot of time. Now, if this is in a room that really doesn't have a whole lot of foot traffic, at the top, you can actually see that there's a motion sensor on here as well. So that's gonna allow you to see maybe the power draw in conjunction with whether or not there's anybody commonly occupying that room. And this is something that I don't see on a lot of other plug and play home automation equipment. In the same fashion as the Wemo Mini, you can also utilize this with either voice controls or with just the standard application to really fine tune your use case, which is something that I really, really like. I think I'm actually gonna use this one this year for the holiday lights for my tree, my railings, and sort of all the various lights and, uh, and pretty furnishings that my wife has put up. Uh, throughout the last couple days and probably will continue too for the next coming weeks until the holidays. So yeah, this is the Insight Plug. Very, very awesome stuff. On to product number three. All right, so product number three is really for those of you who maybe don't want to control an outlet, but you want to control some existing lighting within your house. Because let's face it, not everybody has the money to go out and buy uh, something like the Philips Hue system, which is a per bulb automation, maybe you have a bunch of pot lights like myself in a bedroom or an office or a living room and you don't mind controlling them all at once. So that's where this guy here comes in. This is the Wemo Dimmer. So I actually have two of these, so I don't mind opening this one because I haven't quite decided exactly where I want this one yet. I have a light that I can control in my office but the issue is it's a ceiling light and I don't really want to undervolt that. I don't think that you're even allowed to. Um, but this guy here, if we take it out, this is a dimmer switch. So you can see that it comes with the faceplate and the actual unit itself. I really, really like this. Uh, I have this personally in my bedroom right now. Um, my bedroom used to actually be a living room. So it's quite long as far as the square footage and my bed's all the way on one side and the light switch is all the way on the other. So oftentimes I'm either stumbling in the dark after I've turned the light off or I lay in bed and realize that I have to get back up to turn the light off. Well, not anymore with this guy here. I can actually control my lights through the app or through the Google Home that I have in my bedroom. On and off is simply right down here. It's just one tactile click. And you do have this little strip with varying lights on it. And this is actually for the dimmer. So the nice thing is you can simply just slide to the position that you want. It'll light up a couple of the lights if you haven't made it all the way to the top. And you can have this anywhere between 100% and all the way down to, I believe, 5% at the minimum as far as your lights are concerned. Now, you will need to buy dimmable bulbs. I think that's probably a given. And you will have to wire this. So this isn't quite as plug and play as maybe one of the wall adapters will be. On the back side here, you can see that there's four leads. You have like accessory power, ground, um, neutral, and then your constant power. And it took me a little bit of time to actually set mine up. I have some pretty bad wiring in my house, but once it was done, it was all set to go. And again, I wanna throw this guy somewhere, but I, I'm kind of holding out for a special place to put it. Um, but the nice thing is you can even set schedules within the Wemo app itself. So for an example, in my bedroom, I have it set up that if it's after 9 p.m., if I tell my assistant to turn the lights on, they'll only actually turn the lights on up to about 50, 60%. So you're not blinding yourself at night. Once your eyes are adjusted, you really don't need anything that terribly bright anyway. Uh, so that's how I'm using this guy here. This guy is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of these switches on the market, but this one honestly just works very well. Um, it's very stylistic. I very much like the design of it. The only slight downfall is I find the faceplate is a little large. I was gonna have to cut mine down, but I ended up just making it work in the placement it was. So this is the Wemo dimmable switch, and that's gonna bring us to product number four. Now, product number four is for those of you who really haven't opted just yet, or maybe don't have plans to at all, into let's say the Alexa or the Google Home ecosystem. As it stood now, the only real way to use this stuff on an automated basis was to go ahead and actually use the Wemo application. 
Well, all of that changes now with this guy right here. Now, this is the actual Wemo HomeKit adapter, and this actually allows you to uh, use any of the products that I showed before with the Apple HomeKit. So you can control them with Siri or any of the IFTTT applications that you can currently get with the Apple ecosystem. I personally don't use a whole lot of Apple devices and I'm just being nice, I actually don't use any at all, but I felt it important to still showcase this guy here because I think this is gonna be very important for a lot of people. So when we take this guy out, this is the bridge adapter right here. Very straightforward. It's again, just a centralized hub that allows you uh, a different connection point to bridge together any of the Wemo home automation uh, equipment into your um, home kit ecosystem. So you can see that it does terminate in an ethernet port. And then in here, you also have your power and you have your wall brick. And that's really it. Again, I haven't really used this guy, but it's nice to see a company the size of Wemo really thinking of every single manufacturer and every single household out there providing, you know, a good viable solution to anybody who wants to get into home automation. So we're gonna put this guy all back together and then we're gonna draw a couple of conclusions and uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward video. So I'll see you when I put all this stuff away. All right. and. Honestly, that's really about it. I just wanted to do a video to showcase everything that you guys can get as far as the home automation side of Belkin goes. Again, uh, Wemo is their uh, sub brand that does all the home automation and they make it exceptionally easy, exceptionally stylish, uh, and just overall accessible for anybody who wants to start getting their feet wet. Because I tell you, and I'm completely honest, once you start automating your everyday life, it gets very addictive. So if you're interested in picking up any of these products, again, purchase links will be in the video description below. I will have them all individually for Amazon Canada and Amazon US. And again, be sure to check back often because especially around the holiday seasons, Black Friday is coming up, the holiday season's coming up, these prices will adjust. So check often, uh, maybe even put them in a wish list and buy them when they're on sale. But I can tell you right now, you will not be disappointed. Also, if you like holiday gift guides like this, or just quick videos where I showcase a couple of products at once, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Until the next one, guys, my name is Crazy Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. Okay, Google, kill the camera. Why don't I have any knives around here? Can't believe I'm using a USB cap. It's like the world's strongest tape too. Destroying the box. Oh, there's another piece of tape.